everyone. On today's Sunday Spotlight, I'm going to be talking with Natasha from the Produce Counter. Um, this is a business I didn't know about eight weeks ago, but they are doing some pretty cool stuff locally. And I thought she would be a great business to showcase as I, used, I have used their service and uh, it's incredible. So hopefully this can give you some insight to their business. So welcome, Natasha. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. This is so exciting. So tell everyone a little bit of history about your family business in general. So it began years ago when my grandfather moved here from Italy. Um, he has always been in the produce industry, like had a whole bunch of stores across the GTA. And then my dad and my uncle used to work with him in the stores and help out. And I guess as they got older, my dad branched off and kind of wanted to do a wholesale and processing facility. So I actually remember he started back in 1997. So I would have been seven. I remember him like literally in the kitchen chopping carrots and celery with my mom and like putting it in buckets and delivering to one store. And then from there, he just kind of got bigger and bigger. And then my uncle ended up joining him a couple years after that. And it's just been moving forward ever since then. So in a typical world, you mm -hmm buy mostly is it restaurants is it like what who is your main customer pre-covid so we do mostly like retail so all the grocery stores we do loblaws fortinos McEwen, who's terry's all like those big names that you see all the time we we supply them with our wholesale stuff and now that there's covid we've kind of branched off and try to keep ourselves afloat yeah, so I remember on the Georgetown Mom Group, it probably was the middle to end of March. You had Yeah, we're going into our sixth week. Yeah, so this post that was like, this is what my family does. Would people be interested in us delivering produce to their front door? And it like went crazy. So tell me a little bit about like what you guys are doing in terms of delivery. Like I got my box yesterday and it was rammed. I was like, there was so much value in it. And what I think you're doing differently too is like those chopped up pre-cut things that I guess you send those to grocery stores, but you're off. Yeah. I was just like, this is, these are amazing. So tell people a little bit about how that switch sort of happened, how you're facilitating it and what they can expect from that. So it started because I was noticing a lot of people in Georgetown, like sm other small businesses that were uh, starting delivery options for locals just to kind of keep themselves afloat. And I know that we had a whole bunch of produce that had been, that would have literally gone to the garbage because we had so much overstock that week when it, everything kind of started happening and stores started closing down. So we didn't have as many orders and we had a whole bunch of produce that was literally headed for the garbage. And I'm like, you know what? We have to get creative here and like I, I couldn't stand to see that go to the go to waste so i'm like you i'm just gonna post something on facebook and see if anybody would be interested in a produce box delivered to their door and like you said it literally went crazy i had to shut off the comments like my phone was my phone actually crashed i couldn't even get on facebook anymore it was like it was insane so then that all started so then i was like you know what we're gonna keep this going for as long as people are interested in it and it's been really good. Like it, it's, it's been amazing. The, the amount of support that we've gotten from our town is just, it's so incredible. So that, so every Friday we come out with a new box. We kind of try to switch it up a little bit. And that process stuff that you see in those boxes are basically like, that's what we're known for. We do like a whole bunch of different cut produce and, and fruits and veggies and stuff like that, different combinations. So we like to throw in a couple of those in there every once in a while, just to like, switch it up a little bit. I know people like to give people less work to do at home and everything's prepared for them. So we do that. So every Friday we post a new box, we give until Sunday to order. So then we can figure out how many boxes we need to fill, order our produce in. We assemble them ourselves. So my dad, my cousins, and I, we, we go to the back and we fill everything up. And then, yeah, delivery is the following Wednesday, Thursday. So we have, again, my uncle, my cousin, and my husband, actually, they do the delivery. So it's a big family affair, and it's been really good. It feels nice to support that, right? Yeah. It's nice to have the support. It, it, like, the amount of people, and then all the nice comments that people are saying about us, like, it's really nice. How many boxes are you delivering? So last week was our biggest. We had, I think, 360 boxes. Mm -hmm. This week was a little bit less. I think some people alternate weeks, so we were at 260 this week. Well, you guys, there's a lot in there. Like, I yeah. my one click and collect order because 
because I was like, I have enough produce in here now to last me way longer than I expected. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's our goal is trying to give the freshest produce and more bang for your buck and it saves people from having to go to the grocery store. So we're trying to keep everyone safe also. It's a win-win for everybody. And I love like the add-ons and stuff, like stuff I never would have thought to. Yeah. Add. Like, yes, I was re really, really pleased. I'm glad. So tell people how they can, like where the best place to follow you or to see what this week's order, like how they can place the orders, like what that process looks like. So usually I post on the Facebook group. So Georgetown Tell and Sell, the Georgetown Mommies. And this week I'm going to start posting it on our own page. So if they just want to look up the produce counter on Facebook, you'll see our Facebook page and I will post it there as well with the link to order. Uh, it's a Shopify account. So it's like the dash produce, a whole bunch of stuff on there. So you just click there and then there's a whole bunch of information on the homepage that people should read just to keep our life a little simple. Uh, we take e-transfer only just because we don't want to exchange cash back and forth. And yes, yeah, so you just place the order on that website. You send the e-transfer. I process everything. And then you will have your delivery by Wednesday or Thursday. And we are delivering to Georgetown and Acton. And just to confirm, like, there's no substitutions or anything like that, right? Like, what you have in the box comes in every box, like, to simplify your life, I assume. Yeah, we like to try to keep it as standard as possible just to make the assembly more easy and delivery as well. But I mean, if there's something that somebody really isn't going to eat or if there's an allergy, we are more than happy to substitute. We're trying to keep it as standard as possible. It's just a little easier that way for us. <laughs> So are you guys planning, like, after COVID is over, is this something that you plan on continuing to offer to our local residents? Yeah, so we've had a lot of people ask that, and uh, we would love to continue this after COVID is done, as long as there's interest. I mean, we would totally go forward with it. It's been, it's been so great. I mean, I would love to have a box of produce delivered to my door, right? So, yeah, if there's interest, we would totally continue this afterwards. Okay, I think that's everything. I want to encourage everyone to look at um, the site, to look at what they're offering. I was surprised on my first box to just see how much you got for your money. It's the produce counter. You can find them on Facebook. That's probably the easiest way to link it. Yeah. The posts always get a lot of traction on the Facebook mm -hmm. when they come up. But yeah, if you want to follow, that's probably the best spot. So thank you so much for chatting and letting everyone know what you're doing. And thank you for doing this because it is really refreshing being able to get such good produce without having to go into a store right now. So thank you for doing all this. I'm glad we could help everybody. And thank you for having me on here. That's so awesome.